The bitter battle rages on. Market basket workers off the job and out in force with loyal customers rallying to get their ousted CEO put back in charge. The battle between the corporation and the workers has raged on for more than three weeks. At the center of this, Arthur T. DeMoulis, the former president, forced out by the board, including his own cousin, who's taken over. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kate Merrill. Thanks for joining us today. Market Basket is now looking for new workers. Our own Sarah Kanji is live in Tewksbury from the scene of the biggest rally we've seen, Sarah. Every one of you. Kate, we're here at another Market Basket rally, a good, sizable crowd. You can see behind me workers banding together, giving speeches, playing music, chanting their themes. But what's different this time around is a lot of customers are here, including Kelly from Villarica and Kelly from Somerville, two Kellys here. Uh, Kelly, why did you want to be here? I want to be here to support the employees, to support Arthur T. I just love what they're doing here today, and I support what he does with his company. And a lot of customers like like you are here, they are sending that message to the I board of directors. RDT, RDT. Another rally, another call to arms for Market Basket employees. Thousands of workers braving the heat to turn up the heat on Market Basket leaders, wanting the return of former CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis. I have not gone into a Market Basket store since this all started. But the employees have gained a powerful ally, customers like Marie Cody, who choose to shop elsewhere. This is an important cause, and like I said, I want to teach my children this is the right thing to do, to stand up for what you believe in. Many of the workers now risk being fired if they don't return to the job, but they are confident customers will continue to boycott even if the company hires replacements. You can't force customers to come in and, and buy product. They're boycotting because they're they feel what we're doing is right. Linda Coolis is part of a true market basket family. Not only her nieces and nephew, but her husband and two children are all employed by the company. The protest is taking its toll. Your whole family works for Market Basket. That's a huge risk, too. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm willing to do that because I know what we're doing is right. But, you know, I was now you can see this phrase, this hashtag, you can't fire customers, we quit, that's really taken on a life of its own. We've seen that in t-shirts all around this crowd here. Now, at the last rally, there was something like six to seven thousand. We haven't gotten a final head count here, but certainly a decent-sized crowd here on a very hot day. Live in Tewksbury, I'm Sarah Kanji. Kate, back to you. All right, Sarah, quite the turnout. Thank you.